Greetings! Welcome to Simple Cooking Made Simple with Carolina Chef. Today, we're not cooking. Well, we are cooking because we're making some peach cobbler that'll be coming later on this week that you'll want to really make sure you check out this recipe. It's easy, it's fast, and it is delicious. So make sure you check that out later on. And if you subscribe and set your notifications, you'll, your bell will ring. No, I'm just kidding. You'll get a little notification on your phone uh, letting you know that we put out a new video. Um, today we made some peach lemonade. Oh my, this stuff is so refreshing. You get a great peach flavor, especially with the lemon. Those two together would be, it's, it's phenomenal. This is so good, refreshing. I wish I would have come up with this drink earlier now. Oh, it's so good and it's easy your kids will love it um, I give you two different directions on how you can use Splenda or you can use sugar depending on what you what you prefer so um, make sure you keep watching to the end of this video and uh, if you haven't yet subscribe it's free and let's play I got three washed lemons we're just gonna roll these out makes it easier to squeeze to hear the oven running, we are making Paula Dean's Peach Cobbler. I did a little bit different ingredients, measurement, well not, not ingredients, but measurement wise. And we're gonna see how this turns out. So this video will be coming soon this week. And like I said, these lemons are already washed and you just wanna squeeze these real good. And if you have a squeezer, you can definitely use that. The one thing I like about this, the spout is high. So if you have any fruit or any seeds, it is not going to get caught in there and stop this thing up. So what we have here is from the cobbler that we made, that we're making right now. We have the juice from those canned peaches that we did. And I'll put a link right up here for when we did that uh, canned peach review. So we're gonna use this. It's almost a little bit more than three cups of juice. And this does not have a lot of sugar in it. I was saying before, we did a review on canned peaches. It was the first time I ever canned peaches. The link will be right here. So you guys check out that video. And then we're gonna add, this is a pint. I'm gonna add the juice from this and the peaches just to give this more flavor. Just dump that in there. It's also going to make this nice and pretty. And then we're going to add two cups of Splenda so that I can drink this and my sugar doesn't go sky high. We have water that we're just going to pour in here. I'm going to top this thing off with some ice here in a little bit. We'll just give this a nice stir. And normally I do, this is a gallon and a half, and normally I would do three cups of Splenda or three cups of sugar. But since I'm using the syrup from the peaches, I am only doing two cups of Splenda. But you could just use two cups of sugar. It should be sweet enough. And if you don't make your own canned peaches at home, you could just use regular peaches or get some fresh ones and cut up. All right, guys, let's do our little taste test here. See how this turned out. Mmm, you get a nice peach flavor with this. You get that lemon. Normally I would use like four lemons for this but with the peach and the lemon man this is refreshing mmm it's not too sweet it is perfect guys I definitely would recommend using this recipe man this is good so good and this ain't gonna last very long at all Guys, I hope you try this recipe. If you do, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, 
we love hearing from you guys. I guess that's about the end of this video. So uh, it's a short one, but that's okay. Hopefully uh, you guys will try this, check it out. Uh, in the description, I'll have your recipe. Um, we hope you have a blessed day. Make sure you subscribe, it's free. Smash that like button. Share with your family and friends. And send notifications. Thanks so much.